As family administrator for your GrandPad, successful engagement begins in GrandPad Central. Let's get logged in. First, click Access Your Account in the email invite you received, and you'll be automatically logged in. Second, select Set Password. Create your own password to secure your account, confirm, and click Save when finished. You can always click your name in the upper right corner to change your password and manage your profile. Your user-friendly dashboard allows you to personalize the device to fit the needs of your senior. As family administrator, it's important to customize in the menu below your senior's name as these settings directly correspond to the buttons on their device. That way, when your senior opens the cover of the GrandPad for the first time, they'll see all the apps you've personalized and be able to jump right in. So don't wait for delivery, start customizing now. Let's start creating your private family network. Only people on this list will receive an invite to download the free companion app and be able to connect with the GrandPad user. In the contacts underneath the senior's name, press Add Family Contact in the upper right corner and select Create New Contact. At a minimum, enter info in the fields with a red star. However, if you fill out all the fields, you'll unlock some fun features you can't live without. For example, when you include a phone number, you'll enable text messaging for that contact, which will automatically send them an invite to join the family network. Birthdays show up in the GrandPad screensaver slideshow and remind your senior to celebrate the big day. And when the location is added, the companion's forecast will display in the weather button, making it fun to see what's happening in different parts of the world. Finally, to add a profile picture for the contact, click Choose File and select a photo from your device. It's important for contacts to have pictures so your loved one has an awesome visual of each companion. Since most of your photos are probably stored on your phone, this step may be easier to do in the companion app. And speaking of that, don't forget you can access all of these admin tools right in the companion app as well. So get in there, add the kids, the grandkids, great grandkids, siblings, cousins, and friends. The more, the merrier. What's important is that you get companions loaded, profile pictures added, and invites sent to join in on the family fun. Under Applications, you can see a full list of the buttons on the GrandPad. By default, they're all enabled. So this is where you can personalize these buttons to meet the specific needs of your senior. Let's take a look. First, you can completely disable any applications your user may find overwhelming or not be interested in. Simply toggle the Enable Disabled switch and the device will immediately sync your changes. You can turn them on and off as many times as needed. In fact, you may just want to start with a few buttons enabled, like the call, games, and photos, for example. And then once they're more comfortable, you can add a few more. Second, to personalize the GrandPad even further, you can enable or disable particular items within each application by clicking the Manage button. For example, if you know your senior doesn't like those pesky word games, hide them and leave only the card games they do love. These application settings allow you to personalize the device to match the way your loved one wants to engage with the GrandPad. Whether it's hiding a button or enabling a feature, you get to choose what's best for your senior. And don't forget, these settings can be adjusted back and forth as you see fit.
If you have the Internet button enabled for your senior, select the Internet option underneath the GrandPad user's name. The Internet on the GrandPad works the same as it does on any other device. Your senior's cybersecurity is important to us, and the advanced settings found here in the upper right corner will allow you to personalize their Internet experience and keep them safe. First, do you want to allow your senior access or search capabilities to the entire internet? This can be confusing for someone unfamiliar with the internet. So this setting allows you to pick either full reign or limited access to the bookmarks you've added. Second, should GrandPad customer service agents be able to change your senior's access to websites if they call and ask? When this is set to no, the agent will then call the family administrator and let them know the senior is requesting a new website. Third, do you need to enable cookies so that your senior's usernames and passwords can be saved? This is handy for websites on which your senior has an account, such as Facebook, so that they don't have to enter their login credentials every time they visit that page. These advanced settings are important because they allow you to set your loved one up for success when engaging online. And to that end, let's talk about setting up bookmark websites for your senior to enjoy with a simple click of a button. In the middle of the screen, you can see a list of default websites preloaded by us here at GrandPad. On these websites, you can simply press hide to remove them from the GrandPad. Conversely, you can click the Add Website button in the upper right corner to add new bookmarks. Let's do just that. For example, is your senior a book lover? The free LibbyApp.com book reader and audiobooks website offers thousands of books to read and or listen to. Simply add the URL and name the button however they will recognize it best. Or maybe you'd like to add your loved one's church website. This is a popular request from lots of GrandPad members to allow them to attend virtual services with a single click. You can also rearrange the order of the bookmarks in which the websites will appear on the GrandPad by clicking on the three horizontal lines in front of the name and dragging it to the location you want. The Photos app shows all of the pictures that have been shared to your senior's GrandPad. To add a photo from your device, click Upload Photos in the upper right corner and choose whether to share it with just your senior or everyone in your trusted contact list. Browse Files to select a picture from your photo gallery, add a caption, and click Share. Using the About button, you can write or revise the description, and even rotate the photo if necessary. The Share button allows you to send the picture to another companion in your family network. The Statistics option is an estimate of how many clicks your senior has on the GrandPad each day. On the calendar, white indicates minimal use, less than 10 clicks, Light green indicates moderate use, between 10 and 100 clicks, and dark green indicates high use, over 100 clicks. These stats are updated each morning, reflecting the activity from the previous day. If you'd like to see more details of the use, check out the past 30 days worth of stats in the Usage tab. Here you'll see the user's top three favorite apps, the number of clicks per app, and the number of hours spent in each button. In the radio app, you'll see a list of preset radio stations that come with the GrandPad. But don't worry, you can add your own favorites too. Click Add Preset in the upper right corner and search by name, frequency, or location. Click Add next to the station of your choice. And once it's on the list, you can click the three horizontal lines to the left of the icon and drag it to another position. Last but not least, the Tutorials tab contains 12 short demo videos containing tips and tricks 
for getting the most out of the GrandPad tablet. These training videos can also be found on the GrandPad itself. You'll find them in the Help button for your senior to view. GrandPad Central is a powerful tool that allows family administrators to customize the GrandPad and ensure your success. If you have any questions along the way, just open a live chat or give us a call at 1-800-704-9412. Our member experience agents are always available to help. And don't forget to live grand.